Hi Danielle, this is eventually going to be a downloadable PDF for your website, so putting it together in Word is definitely not acceptable. Let me see what the directions say. Um, let's see. It doesn't exactly um, say, but it might help to do it in PowerPoint, that way you can have a theme and you can have a page to page um, spread. But Word is, it doesn't look um, like a designer did it. But okay, so that said, this looks fantastic. You need to spell check because American Cancer Society is a proper name, so that would be all capitalized. Okay, you put it together. I don't care if you enjoyed it or not. I want to know what you did. Did you do that illustration or did you just do the design? So you save your enjoyment and whatever for the job interview. Um, that's when you can be emotional about it. But as far as your presentation, this is a standalone piece that someone who could be interested in you is looking at and they just want to know the facts. Again, great use of creative typography. Um, did you do the art? Interesting illustration. So what you would do is you just say uh, Photoshop experiments. And that's beautiful. Uh, all that stuff. I just want to know how did you do that? Did you do it in Photoshop? It's beautiful. Photograph, photograph. Don't care about photography so much. This one is um, interesting, but as far as a graphic design portfolio, you do want to show diversity. So perhaps instead of page after page of photographs, do um, only one or two just to show your very best work, to show an employer that um, if they hired you, you'd be a one-stop shop. What is this? Okay, a photograph. Again, um, just your very best work in a few pieces. So I'm interested in graphic design stuff right now. So you did the artwork. Um, consider taking that into Photoshop and increasing the brightness contrast. It's not a very good photograph. Is it because it was done in a sketchbook? If that is the case, um, you want to increase the brightness contrast so that the edges are white like they're supposed to be. And see if you can kind of erase out the shadow to make it look as professional as possible. Hey, that's a pretty good drawing, an interesting perspective. All right. So, this is not a good way to present your work. You want to take a picture overhead and crop it same all right so you don't have a lot of graphic design work you have this and this which are really good it shows creativity and graphic design i really like these they're beautiful illustrations beautiful illustration and then you have some photographs some of them look more like professional work than others like this, I can go to Instagram or Facebook and, you know, a ton of my friends who have cats post this picture. So not super unique. This one's beautiful. You know, it's intriguing. It looks like the cat is really thinking. But narrow down your photography to maybe four pieces. I mean, if unless photography is your goal. So you just really need to have a solid goal here with your portfolio. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to get a job as an illustrator? Are you trying to get a job as a photographer? Or are you trying to get a job as a graphic designer? So um, let me know and let's think about work that you can get together that will help you reach that goal. Bye-bye.